Back in business, welcome to Manchester Dogs Home. Today opening its doors to the public for the first time after staff here and Britain were left heartbroken nearly 18 months ago. In the September of 2014, devastation. A fire from an arson attack ripped through the adoption kennels here. 60 puppies and dogs trapped inside died that night. There are now 22 dogs living here looking for new homes. Now you're not supposed to have favourites but Samson here came in as a stray and staff here have taken quite a shine to him. He's hoping in the next few days he'll also go to a new home. Isn't that right? It's feeling a bit quiet. And today, couple Nikki and Jason would like to adopt a family dog and have fallen in love with 22-week-old puppy, Bella. They've come in here, they haven't had the best start in life and you're going to take them home. How does that feel? Oh, yeah, well, kids are going to be on the moon. They're going to see that and it's, they're going to be happy. Oh, it's that simple. And what is it about her that made you think, I think she's the one? She's just gorgeous. The vibe, and the, all the dogs are going ballistic and she'll just come to the glass. <laughs> They're going pretty bonkers in here. She's at least yeah. calm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. a good sign. Calm. The dog's home was only able to be rebuilt after two million pounds was raised by the public and the support of stars like Simon Cowell and Ricky Gervais. Colin Balance has worked here for 26 years and cannot believe Britain's generosity. You must have been kind of bowled over oh, by that. Bowled over wasn't the word. It was heart wrenching. Um, you know, all these people out there, which is just amazing the way they just put their hands in the pockets to help us out. It was unbelievable, especially young children coming with the pocket money. You know, two or three pounds, that meant more to me than these big donations. So after so much misery, staff here told me there's finally a light at the end of the tunnel for the dogs who call this place home. Minnie Stevenson, Five News.